Thank you for the opportunity. Today, Michael and me will be presenting our collaborative success story. Probably you all must be wondering what this name is, and probably some of you all can guess where I come from. Yes, Aravindari Silva from Sri Lanka. That's where I come from. Anyway, we are not going to talk about cricket today, but we are going to talk about our collaborative cricket. So, our story. I started at USQ 12 years ago, and when I started, the first thing I would see is a plastic bridge on the road. That's what you see in this, where a mine truck of 75 tons has been there, which can take the weight and that particular bridge is not made of concrete or steel, but of plastic in colloquial term. What's that plastic? We call it fiber composite, FRP. So that research and development started with Wagner's CFT, Wagner's Composite Fiber Technology, and started about 15 years ago, and that was the first story. And where it resulted, the pioneering work what we have done at USQ and with Wagner's had resulted in the first fiber composite bridge in Australia, that was developed not anywhere else but in Toowoomba and it is worth the drive up the range for about one and a half to two hours from here and you will see how innovation is taking place in regional, regional cities and regions and Toowoomba is, not, is one of the places you would like to see that. And since then we had numerous projects Wagner's have developed in innovative design on structural concept and then also we, USQ, as a research collaborator, we have been closely involved with that work. So, in our presentation, we'll give a bit of an overview about USQ and Wagner's, and you will see some of the success stories, and how USQ and Wagner's in collaboration has led to commercialization aspects, and that made a new innovative technology to be used in the infrastructure, and how we also promote on international level. So USQ, that is University of Southern Queensland, and then we have CWFC. It is a Queensland government initiative that started in 2003, and formally the centre was, uh, center was uh, launched. And what we have, we work with multidisciplinary team. Even though I'm a civil and structural engineer, we had to work with polymer chemist. We had to work with mechanical engineers. We had to work with material engineers. Not only that, we had to work with the industry because we are trying to solve the industrial problems and through our research and development. So we do have research training. As mentioned earlier, we do have training postgraduate students, undergraduate students, and in between anywhere. So some of our students, they work with main roads, various regional councils, so that is part of our role we play at the university. Then we also do a fair bit of consulting work in the form of testing because in polymer testing and structural testing, USQ at CWFC, we have got some of the unique facilities which can be testing for polymers and all that. That's what we do, and Michael will tell about Wagner's. Thank you, Thiru. Um, we thought in the spirit of a collaborative conference that would have two speakers today, um, and share what we've done. A quick overview of Wagner's and how our business has come to innovate. Wagner's is a family-owned company based in Toowoomba, regional Queensland. Uh, our roots are in concrete, quarries and transport operations. Uh, from small beginnings in Toowoomba, the company's grown to over a 1,000 employees. The picture here is a, a plant in Papua New Guinea. We have global operations. Um, headquartered in Kuala Lumpur, so the, the whole company headquarters is still Toowoomba, our global headquarters is in Kuala Lumpur, uh, where we take the procedures, the methods that we've developed to the world. Uh, from a, an innovation point of view, our whole business is based on it, um, and from a collaboration point of view, uh, it's absolutely pivotal to collaborate to get anything done today uh, from a com uh, in our commercial world. Our airport in Toowoomba that the Premier alluded to earlier uh, is nearly ready. So Qantas announced yesterday that on November 17 they'll be uh, starting to fly out of the Brisbane West Wellcamp Airport, direct flights to Sydney, some great deals on at the moment, it's not that far away. Um, the, uh, the airport has gone from approval stage to completion in 20 months. Thank you very much. 
the, uh, that has happened with an immense amount of collaboration. So we must acknowledge the, the state guys, the local council guys, and of course the, the whole Wagner's team that's been involved. There's really no one in the company that hasn't been touched by this project, uh, as you can well imagine. Uh, this uh, airport it sort of signifies the intrepid nature of the business. Uh, intrepid is one of our sort of key terms in our core values. Uh, and I guess that, that sort of paves the way for innovation to occur. Two of the, the main products that I'd like to talk about. So Wagner's are a supplier of construction materials to industry. Um, we have sort of two main product lines that have, have really focused a lot of our attention and the collaborative work with universities and, and local government and state governments. Uh, our composite fibre technologies, which we'll be focusing on. I'll just touch quickly on our earth-friendly concrete as well. Uh, so we've done work with USQ, we've done work with Brisbane City Council, with Toowoomba Regional Council, on developing a concrete with no cement. So one tonne of carbon dioxide, uh, one tonne of carbon dioxide is emitted for every one tonne of cement that is produced, approximate numbers. It's about eight to nine percent of the, of man's, uh, of our, sorry, man-made CO2 emissions in the world. It's a big number for one product. We are successfully manufacturing earth-friendly concrete and uh, not only are we just trying to sell it but we're putting our money where our mouth is. We've got 30,000 cubic metres of this geopolymer concrete going into our airport facility at the moment. It's the largest job in the world by a massive margin uh, that's been done with geopolymer concrete. And again, it's the intrepid nature, it's that ability to, or that willingness to have a go, and then the technical competence uh, behind that to make it happen. Composite fibre technologies, this is, uh, I guess, it's a fabulous success story for Wagners. Uh, I, like Thiru, have been in Toowoomba for 12 years. Um, we incorporated Wagner CFT in 2002. Um, Interestingly, the first, uh, the first interface with Wagners and Composites was through the University of Southern Queensland at a barbecue at one of our director's homes talking to one of the researchers from the university. We had a lot of trucks. The uh, researcher said, perhaps we should look at lightweight trucks. Lightweight truck, more payload. We started that project uh, in, I think it was about the year 2000, and... Uh, we finally got a lightweight truck in about 2005 after a lot of work. But on the back of that initial conversation today in Toowoomba, in a re regional Queensland, we've got about 150 employees. We've got 25 technical staff. You can see the stats behind me. We've now got a business that's supplying all around Australia and exporting to the world. So here in the photo you can see a road bridge deck being loaded in a container. Uh, we've actually got a quarry in Toowoomba licensed to supply aggregates to New York State because we've, we put an integral concrete layer on top. Uh, none of this is possible without Wagner's engineers, but then also that third party, uh, that third party review that we get from the university. So what do we do? What is composite fiber technology? It's, uh, Basically fiberglass, glass, fibre and resin, similar to surfboards, kayaks, these sort of technologies, but we make structural sections in an automated process. Uh, it's the cheapest way to combine glass, fibre and resin. It's a, a mass production line item and these structural sections are rolled off uh, effectively mills, uh, but we actually call it a pull trusion process. All of the products we make come from these pull truded sections. And for every client we have, we have to prove to them that it's better than what's existing. Um, we do a lot of structural testing, very competent at that. The, the structure you see on the left is being tested in Toowoomba before it goes on a power line uh, on a uh, 132 kV tower in Malaysia. Uh, coming back to sort of where we've done a lot of close collaboration with the university, I'd like to tell you about our plastic bridges. Um, this project stemmed from a need. There's over 20,000 timber bridges along the east coast of Australia. We are running out of hardwood timber. The state government sort of highlighted that there was a problem. They had a few engineers looking to solve the problem. 
the USQ said perhaps we could look at fibre composites. Wagner's were in business, we're making protruded sections and today we have a timber bridge replacement system where we're using fibreglass piles, the round things coming up out of the ground. We have fibreglass headstocks, corbels, bearers. Uh, this, uh, this girder is being landed by a 20 tonne Franner crane, so quite a small crane. Uh, this whole bridge was installed without a big tower crane, on a, a big uh, uh, platform crane on site. So in installation costs are greatly reduced. Uh, the time frame for installation is greatly reduced. Uh, and all through a project initiated by a need, uh, developed by the state government, collaboration between Wagner's and USQ to develop the solution. Now these aren't the big, necessarily the big bridges, but there's the volume there too. So I guess to sort of describe, uh, our goal here today was to, to let you know how we've worked together. Uh, you've seen why it's been, or how it's been beneficial. Wagner's has definitely grown, the university has grown on the back of it. The three sort of main ways that we see that we've worked well with the USQ is A, developing products. So there's a need, um, there's a, an asset owner in our, in our case, transport and main roads perhaps. Um, the USQ has tremendous testing facilities and the expertise to, so it's not just Wagner's telling transport and main roads it's a good idea, it's actually validated by experts in the field. For a lot of these new technologies, the people that end up using them won't have the expertise in that field. So they look for other experts. Uh, coming to the second point, the USQ has been engaged by main roads then to make sure Wagners are doing their job well. And finally, the promotion of technologies. Uh, the USQ does a lot of work at international conferences. Uh, Thira and I have both just returned from Canada. Um, a very, uh, a very positive conference. So product development, I mentioned that the testing facilities, uh, we've actually manufactured uh, over 60 girders that have gone through the USQ's test facilities. Third party verification on the performance of, of each and every girder, uh, which gives the end asset owner, transport and main roads, that assurance that it's been made well. Uh, and that's what it comes down to. Most of the of our customers want to be on the leading edge, not the bleeding edge. Uh, that's a, a common term that's used. Uh, and this sort of process and our alignment with the USQ has ensured that not only is it uh, has it de-risked it for the end user, but it's de-risked it for Wagner's as a supplier too. I'll hand over to Thiru to uh, to complete our presentation and just to talk about the work that USQ has done. So based on these stories, you can see how things have gone for from research develop to research and development to actual commercialization and where the collaboration with the industry and the research organization can work very successfully. So in this particular case, yes, the first fiber composite bridge was developed and then it has resulted in now various composite bridges put in Australia, also, also overseas and also replacement like timber girders. And in the last 10 years, if you look at that success, it's a great success story. And one particular case in Brisbane, in New Farm, yes, the Brisbane City Council approached us and said, asked USQ, we have a problem where a, a broadwalk has to be replaced. What is a suitable technology for that? Then I had to use my expert advice and said, yes, if you can use this, this particular technology, you will be able to replace it. And it was an old timber Roadwalk that need to be replaced and Wagner's technology on protrusion was developed with another sandwich panel technology and that is in that is currently in place and it has been installed in uh, I think around 2009 2010 period and it is still existing in a great success story and as Michael said we just came back from an international conference of course I did present independent review of the testing what we have done on those 60-odd girders and where we have tested the proof loading and ultimate load test and we participate in international conference where fiber composite or composite technology is fairly new in the infrastructure, especially in the civil engineering. But when we say about USQ, the international research 
organization, they are well aware of the work what we do in Toowoomba, and that is well published, and that is where the CIC, or Composite for Infrastructure, and the International Institute for FRP, where I do participate as a council member, that does give greater benefit for universities as well as organization in Australia where we get the international focus and collaboration. And in conclusion, what I would like to say is, I mean, we have talked about different things. I mean, we have seen Australia has proven the potential for the wider use of fiber composite. In colloquial term, yes, the plastic bridges could be built. And the business strategies what we have been making has been the key factors for the successful enterprise in a meaningful R&D. You can see how Wagner's had developed their strategies for taking research and development to commercialization. And importantly, we need to think outside our square, outside the square. I might be speaking a slightly different accent. Michael will be speaking differently. Our colors may be different. We come from, come from different cultures. But that also brings the multidisciplinary aspect and the cultural differences that can make some of this innovation and research and development work. I think that is important because we need to bring the multidisciplinary team into the picture if we want to take research and development to commercialization and actual innovation and success. So that's where I'll take the term composites. It is ideal if we could have partnership like composite. Why composite? By definition, it is bringing complementary materials together to form a successful structure. And that's what our innovation has been and our collaboration has been. And that's what I would like to end with the term collaboration to innovate is the key to our success story. With that, I'll conclude. Thank you very much.